Istanbul really is where East meets West, and now increasingly where North meets South. Istanbul is really at the heart of the meeting place. But here we have to try to find some agreement across different constituencies and different boundaries. All the regions that are represented at this summit face a moment of global uncertainty. What has truly shifted, even more important than the, the political changes that have occurred, is that at the ground level people feel responsible. They feel a sense of ownership for their country, no longer as observers, but as actors. We talk from Middle East to Northern Africa, and the idea of uh, being able to discuss our experience in Europe with completely a different point of view, but at the end, uh, uh, sharing the same basic principle of uh, the need to provide prosperity to our own people. Turkey actually has been a source of inspiration for what Europe can be if they can enlarge their view and look at the longer term. It is like a university campus. People come here such to give you the exact picture where is the world now. The role of government has changed. It's no longer a world where we just have heads of states deciding where the world should go. There are so many new actors on the scene. When it comes to the gender-specific issues, I'm really looking forward to see the aspect and how what other countries have addressed these issues and what they feel the predicaments are for women employability are. Pretty much what everyone agrees at the moment is the preeminent challenge facing the Arab world where issues of youth inclusion, youth employment, and exploring ways of learning from one another. I, over the last couple of days, have made, uh, have had amazing conversations with people that I can't wait to actually take uh, offline, if you will, and continue outside of the confines of the, of the World Economic Forum.